Fidenza, who definitely helps in the hand of the party gold, fill up the tall glass up to the top with ice and coke, and then a little wedge of wine. It's for those who like to squeeze the limes and lemons into their who will even drinks. The daiquiris, we all go to many bars and clubs. They each serve us all these nice frozen daiquiris, peach, mango, strawberry, melon, <coughs> you name them, they'll make them. But the original daiquiri was not frozen, simply lime juice, sugar, with Burgundy light rum. But its name, Daiquiri, it came from these mines, you see, that were called the Daiquiri Mines. In the southern eastern part of Cuba, an American engineer named James Cox, who worked in those mines, what would he do after work? Well, he'll mix his Burgundy light rum to some lime juice and sugar, and give it to his friends and co-workers who later will go to different bars and have all these bartenders recreate the same little drink for them until one day one bartender did stop them and asked them for the name of the drink that he had none so he asked them where they were from they said they worked at the dietary mines so the bartender suggested that whenever they returned back to his bar and they want that same little drink prepared they should order it by just saying dietary and from there he would know what to mix but it's a very simple drink at home you get yourselves a nice little seven ounce cocktail glass first thing that you do you fill that up with ice. In your shaker, your mixer, you also put a bit of ice in it, but with an ounce and a half of Bacardi light rum, an ounce and a half of freshly squeezed lime juice, and two or three teaspoons of sugar. Then you shake this, but shake it well. So the sugar in the ice will begin to dissolve into the lime juice and rum to give us a nice little lemonade effect. Then we're going to screen the used ice and pour the whole entire liquid into the cocktail glass so you can have yourselves a nice little homemade lime dietary. And it's just that simple. Mojito, that famous Cuban drink, consists of spearmint leaves, lime juice, sugar, bacardi, light rum and club, soda. It is actually the oldest cocktail drink ever created with bacardi. The drink itself dates back as far back as far back as when the company itself was established in 1862. Before that, they made sort of the same type of drink, but they used the very strong flavor of rum in those times. So strong it was that the drink itself even carried a pirate name to it. But after the company was established and came out with a light, clear, a better tasting rum, they did the same mix, but later, in a new meaning, decades and decades later, a Frenchman renamed this Mojito. Now this is the way we're gonna make them at home. You get yourself a nice 10 ounce, but thick glass. In it first, put in about 10 or 12 spearmint peas with an ounce and a half of Bacardi light rum. Your next step, you will first press the leaves down into, into the rum. So the essence, flavors of the spearmint gives the rum a mint taste. Then you add your lime juice to it, preferred. Freshly squeezed about an ounce or an ounce and a half. Two or three teaspoons of sugar. Stir all that up together. Then fill it up to the top with ice, club soda, and stir again. That will be your mojito mix made at home. You can log on to our website, Bukhari.com. Check out those recipes for many, many more, which include our new flavor of rums that have just come out. Now, Bacardi Superior Delight Rum is the most sold premium rum in the world, but it's also known as the most mixable one because it's a rum with the least amount of aftertaste in it. So it's going to help us to really enjoy more the flavors that are inside our cocktail drinks. Bacardi Gold, the two-year age rum, best suited for sodas like the Bacardi and Coke, Sprite, Ginger Ale, Seven Up, Pepsi's. But for the more serious Bacardi drinkers, those who really like to sip on our rums, Bacardi has created two special type of reserves for us. We've got the eight years, ocho años, also sold in the States, Canada, Europe, Australia, Japan, and part of South America. That eight year age rum on ice gives us a light bourbon like flavor to it at first, but a bit of that sweet side because it is rum, which makes it very, but very mixable. Reserva Limitada, Limited Reserve. It is a blend of 10, 16 years age runs for an average of 12, 14 years. It is now available for you. So very few local stores and very few selected duty-free shops. In its first six years of production, this rum was only sold in our gift shop. In fact, it was even once a hand-bottled rum. 
Yes, for Colony in Puerto Rico, they did. Filled it up by hand, waited, sealed, and would have corked. And each bottle was actually numbered on the back as it comes out of production. It went from there to our gift shop. And it was for folks like yourselves right now who have just taken time out of the United States to come here to see what this company is all about. But not even drink it to run, simply on its own. In a nice little brandy or cognac glass, without any ice, without any water, swirl it around a bit, put your nose to it, capture the sweet and rich aroma that comes out of that rum, plus enjoy the complex flavor of a 12-year-old rum after its making. It is now available for you. It's a very few local stores and very few selected duty-free shops, but pretty soon to a liquor store near you. How <laughs> <laughs> would you? From here on, you guys can take pictures of yourselves as many times as you wish to do so.